Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Arion and you can learn, make and create together with me. So today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step using my action. Without any further ado, let's get started. First thing first, as you can see, this portrait needs to be clean. And for cleaning, we're going to use three different tools. One of them is spotlighting brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So I'm going to start with spotlighting brush tool and I will zoom in here in the forehead but before I start retouching this portrait uh, make sure to check all the links down below in the description because I have put the retouching actions all for the raw file so join my telegram channel and you will get all the raw files that I'm using in video tutorials so I'm gonna click clean here and click play after we do that as you can see we have two different layers one of them is clean that is a duplicated background uh, layer renamed clean and a black and white type layer that helps us to see some details in the harsh highlight but for the uh, first i'm gonna turn out the black and white because we don't need this uh, this time and i'm gonna click clean and click on the spot healing brush tool i'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead and i'm gonna start cleaning for cleaning as i said i am using three different tools uh, each one of them I'm going to use but as you can see I have uh, made with shortcuts it's J, K and L you can go to edit and toolbar you can uh, find your tools and you can double click here and you can uh, leave any keyboard that you want for a shortcut as you can see I have them with J, K and L so I can switch between these three uh, tools in an easy way so I'm gonna keep cleaning now I am using uh, Vacuum Tools Pro, as you can see I'm using a pen, so I use a mouse only for some clicks here and there. So for retouching I'm using Vacuum Tools Pro as I said, with a pen, but be careful when you are cleaning portraits with the freckles that we have here on this portrait, because you don't want to remove them. I will speed up this process because it's only with a spot filling brush and see you guys in a few seconds. And here we are after we have done some changes as you can see a before and after it's time for some frequency separation and I'm gonna delete this black and white type layer because we don't need right now I'm gonna go here and click FS plus click play and for the right radius of this portrait I'm gonna go uh, as you can see we have uh, a stick to clean and I think that I will go with something like 80 maybe and as you can see it's uh, disappeared in the skin so we have to work only in the texture so I'm gonna leave it as it is click OK now open the frequency separation group and click here in high frequency or the texture I'm gonna zoom in here where we have the stick and I'm gonna click here on clone stamp tool I will clean this part by using this method i'm gonna hold shift uh, sorry i'm gonna hold alt keyboard like this and click it here to copy and paste it like this so this is the best way for cleaning in the high frequency or in the texture so let's just clean this uh, be careful on this part because you don't want to destroy the texture of this portrait I mean like you don't have to copy here and paste it here because it will create something bad but you need to copy paste as near as possible like I am doing right now just like this and as you can see that we are ruining some uh, details of this portrait but I'm gonna recover it later with some other details let me just check a before and after and I think that is looking okay but I'm gonna go here on low and turn out the high frequency or the texture and I'm gonna see what's going on here and I think that we have some color here so I'm gonna go with a mixer brush I'm gonna zoom in and for the settings I'm gonna go by wet for 10, load 45, mix 45 and flow by 
virtual three and i'm just gonna paint it here make the skin tones on this part now let's just check a before and after all this process i think it's okay but we need more clean so i'm gonna go again in the high frequency with the clone stamp tool and be careful because as you can see we are creating some uh, bad texture and I think it's because all this uh, part on the low frequency that is color is uh, too much blurry so I'm gonna merge this frequency separation and oh, sorry click here right click and click merge check a before and after I'm gonna create a layer mask here Click here on layer mask and with a black brush and 100% opacity, I'm just gonna paint it here to remove what we've done in that frequency separation and check a before and after. I think it's okay. Now merge these two into one again. Merge, oh, sorry, on the merge and zoom in. I'm gonna choose spot tooling brush tool and I will start cleaning this small dots i can save them like that now check a before and after i think that we have some shadows that is missing here so i'm gonna click here on burn and 10 percent with the midtones make the size of the brush a little smaller and paint it like this now check a before and after and i think that is okay now click here that says digital skin texture click play with a white brush and 100 percent of it i'm just gonna paint it like this and 100 is obviously way too much but i'm gonna lower by 35 maybe now zoom in check a before and after 35 is way too much i'm gonna go by 25 maybe now check a before and after of this entire process and i think it's looking okay now merge these into one now that we are done with some general cleaning it's time for dodge and burn so i'm gonna click here on dodge click play and click on burn click on black and white tile player and here we are with the dodge and burn and black and white tile player i'm gonna start on the dodge so i'm gonna turn off the black and white tile player right now and i will go with a brush white brush 10 percent opacity 100 percent low I'm gonna zoom in and turn on the black one I tell player and I will start dodging this portrait. So for dodging, we are going to dodge in the parts that we think that we need to dodge. For example, some mid-tones or some shadows like under the eyes. And check it before and after what we've done so far. Now keep working with a dodge. This is the local dodge. And after we are done with the local dodge and frequency separation and some extra settings, we are going to work on the global dodge. The local is for some parts, I mean like the small parts, and the global is for uh, bigger parts like highlights on nose, highlights on lips on everything so just keep working with a dodge on some local parts Now check a before and after of this entire process and I think that is looking okay. Now click on the burn, turn on the black and white tile layer and zoom in. So we have to burn on the brighter parts where we want to reduce that light. Usually I don't use burn uh, that much because I want to keep my, my light of the portrait as original as possible because 
I think that in a portrait is the light and shadows the big stuff that make a portrait look amazing so usually I don't work that much with the burn so this is the main reason now check out before and after all the burn turn off that black and white felt layer and you can zoom in check out before and after I think it's okay but I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the burn by 50% now check out before and after all this entire process and now that we are done with dodge and burn it's time for the frequency operation so I'm gonna drag and drop this and shift hold shift click here and group these layers rename dodge and burn if you want to save the settings of everything now drag and drop this group here and merge the group into a single layer click on fs plus click play so for the right radius of this portrait i'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead i'm going to 0.1 and i will slightly go to the right until i see some details that are disappearing and i think that i will go by five maybe six and click ok now after it's done open the group of frequency operation click on low frequency which is this uh, the color of the portrait and turn off the high frequency i'm gonna use the mixer brush and for the settings of mixer brush again i'm going by wet 10 load 45 mix 45 and slow 43 zoom in and start mixing the skin tones sorry about that uh, the new version of photoshop is creating something with a default color that is right there start mixing the skin tones of this portrait i mean like as i said at the beginning this portrait is with freckles sorry and you don't want to destroy them but keep working on the frequency separation I mean like little touches not that much you can turn on the black and white felt layer to see uh, where you're working sorry and this is happening the reason behind this is because we have clicked the sample all layers so if we click this if it's clicked I mean like if it's checked everything that you, uh, is here like black and white felt layer if it's the uh, high frequency or the texture on you can see what's going on here it will create uh, it will combine everything that is up of this layer so we have to make sure that it's not checked and keep working on the low frequency as i said be careful on this portrait because uh, with the freckles it's hard to work on the frequency operation but i'm gonna make only some few changes where we don't want to destroy the freckles just like this now check out before and after of this frequency operation technique and i think that is okay i'm gonna zoom in here on the head i'm gonna click on the patch tool i'm gonna make selection around this and remove the color now check it's still on the high frequency or the texture so i'm gonna click constant tool and copy some texture that is here maybe and paste it like this it's looking bad now click here to copy some other texture and paste it here and it's still looking bad i'm gonna go back and i think that we have to work on the low or in the color so i'm gonna use mixer brush here and just mix the skin tones a little i think it's okay now click on the high frequency click constant tool and copy the texture now check it before and after of this part and i think that is looking okay zoom out and check it before and after of this entire process i think it's okay now i'm gonna merge all this into one layer now after i am done with dodge and burn local and frequency separation it's time for some dodge and burn that is global click on dodge click on burn and 
play play. I'm going to start with a dodge, turn on the black and white card player, and with a white brush and 10% opacity, I'm just gonna paint it globally on the parts that I want to dodge. And you can check it before and after what you've done so far. I think it's looking okay. Now with a smaller brush, I'm just gonna paint it here. Paint on the lips. I'm gonna add some dodge into the eyes. I'm gonna increase the opacity of the brush. Now check a before and after only of the dodge. I think it's okay. Now click on the burn and with a 10% opacity of the brush, I'm just gonna paint it around the cheeks, around the forehead, a little on the eyebrows. Now check a before and after of the burn. I think it's okay. And check a before and after of this entire process. Click on dodge again. I think that I'm gonna reduce just a little. And I think that it's okay. Now delete this black and white card layer because we don't need this. And merge the layers into one again. Click here that says I plus, click play. We can turn it till it stops. Now open the I plus. I plus is for the eyes. So click here that says remove veins, zoom in. And with a 100% opacity, I'm gonna paint inside the white of the eyes. Just like this. Do that process in both of them. Now click on the brightening and paint it around the white of the eyes. And I know this is looking ridiculous, but we are going to reduce the opacity of both of them. Now zoom out and uh, click on the remove veins and reduce the opacity. I think that I'm going by 25. Now click on the brightening and for the brightening I'm going by 35. Now click here on the eyeball brightening with a 100% brush. I'm just gonna paint it inside the iris and do that process in both of them. Now zoom out, check a before and after. I think it's okay and click here on the iris contour action with 100% brush just paint it on the eyebrows uh, this works fine because it's only a darker action now check it before and after i think that i'm going by 55 now if you want to change the color of the eyes you can click here on the iris color and with 100% opacity paint just like this inside of them and here we have some blue eyes if you want to change the color which is blue right now you can double click here and we will move this slider into the left into the right and so you see the color that you are looking for but i think that i will stick with the original color of them sorry now check a before and after i think it's okay i'm gonna reduce just a little and merge them into one now I'm going to click on the retouching actions, uh, makeup retouching actions and click here that says lips dodge and burn, lips glow and soft lips. So I'm going to start with the lips dodge and burn, click play, zoom in and as you can see it says pick lips color. So we're going to pick uh, the color that is in the lips, I mean like you can choose a different color, for example you can go with a Maybe a green with 100% opacity and you can paint it like this but you have to copy the color of the lips which is pink so you have to be careful on this process and with 10% opacity I'm just going to paint where I want to dodge on the lips. Just like this. Now you can zoom out, check the before and after and reduce by 25. Now click on this other action that says pick lips color that says blur. So we're going to pick a darker color of the lips and start painting. Just like this. Check a before and after. And if you think that is overdone, you can always reduce the opacity like I'm doing right now. Check a before and after of this one. 
and it's okay now merge them into one again click on lips flow click play zoom in with 100 percent brush opacity of the brush sorry you can just paint over the lip and you can check it before and after and if you think that is way too much you can always lower the opacity so i'm going by 10 percent sorry check it before and after of the entire process i think it's okay now merge them into one now click here that says soft lips click play wait until it's done it will uh, require some seconds now zoom in and with a 100 percent brush i'm just gonna paint it right on the lips now zoom in and check a before and after of what this action does it will make your lips softer but i'm going to reduce it by 25 you can check a before and after and merge again into one now click here that says lips and cheeks click play click on the rosy lips zoom in and paint it on the lips if you want to change the color just a little into a rosy look because it's a thing right now now you can zoom out check it before and after and i think that uh, 65 or maybe 100 is way too much i'm gonna go by 25 maybe even lower and i think that 20 is okay now click here that says rosy cheek it's for the cheeks i'm gonna paint with a 10 percent brush just like this do that process in both of the cheeks now check it before and after i think that 45 is way too much i'm gonna go by 20. now check it before and after i think they are looking good merge again now click here that says smoke guys and mascara click play click stop zoom in with 100 percent brush i'm just gonna paint over the eyelashes and as you can see uh, it's too dark so i'm gonna go by 25 now click here this says smokey eyes with 10 percent brush opacity i'm just gonna paint it like this now check a before and after i think that 50 is way too much this one and reduce check a before and after now click here on eyeshadows that says pick a color that you want click play you can double click on this uh, create two layers zoom in and this one is for the eye makeup you can choose for example the color that is here on the flowers with 100 percent opacity i'm just gonna paint it like this and it's totally bad so i'm gonna reduce it by 20 or you can do that with a brush of 10 percent i'm gonna delete this one and with a 10 percent brush i think that i'm gonna stick a color i'm gonna choose sorry i think that there is some color on this portrait but i think that i'm gonna go with color kind of purple into red something like this i think that this one will be okay now let me just paint it over there and i think that is looking okay now check a before and after of this entire process and obviously it's too much but do this process in both of them and i'm gonna reduce the opacity now i'm gonna paint just a little with a red color just like this to create some makeup around the eyes you can even go with a darker color and you can see what's going on here Now check a before and after. As you can see, we have done some makeup on this portrait. Do the process in both of them because we don't want some changes here and there. So I think that 100% is way too much. So I'm gonna go by 25. Now check a before and after of this entire process. I think it's looking fine. Merge these into one. Now click here on the sharpening. Click play. And wait until it stops now as you can see it's a black mask so switch 
between black and the white by clicking Ctrl and I, zoom in, and here you have a sharpness for this portrait. So obviously 100% uh, is way too much, so I'm gonna go by 25, take a before and after, and merge these into one. Now that we are done with the retouch, as you can see all the details are done, I'm going to create some color grades. I'm gonna play some color grades, sorry. I'm gonna go here and I color grade light skin. Uh, I recently made them, you can click the link in the description. So I'm gonna check all of them one by one and I will stick with only I will I will stick with only of them. So I'm gonna check them as I said one by one. This one is looking great. And this one is okay. You have to make changes inside of them because there are too many settings for the color grade. Sorry, this one deletes the fifteen and six. Take a before and after. Click on a seven. So I think that I'm gonna stick with A13, but I'm gonna check them one by one. And this one is okay. Click on this one, reduce it just a little. This one is okay. And reduce this. This one is way too much, obviously. Click on this, it's okay. And check it before and after of this color grade that is A13. But I'm gonna add some more details on this one. Click on color balance and I will click on highlight. I will make this portrait look like into yellow tone, something like that. Now check it before and after. It looks amazing, but I'm gonna reduce it by 50. Now click again here. It says color balance. Click on the shadows, so for the shadows I'm going into blue into science, something like that. Switch the blending mode from normal to soft light and reduce the opacity by 20. And put both of them inside the color grade folder. Now check out before and after. I think it's okay. Now click on face contouring, click play. Wait until it's done. Now check out before and after for this entire process with color grade and the face contouring. So I'm gonna reduce just a little for this color grade because I think that is too much. Now here you have a before and after of this entire process. You can zoom in and check a before and after. This is before, this is after retouch. This is before and this is after retouch with color grade. And I think that is looking amazing. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw files and retouching actions. Also, I'll create a color grade light skin. You will find that too in the description. And let me know if I'm understandable or not. Let me know if you learned something from me. So this way I will get better and better. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.